Hello and welcome back to the Reapers. We're in our Chris and Eagle 2 and we're going to look at taxi, takeoff, some flight and then landing. So the first thing is, I'm going to put my controls on the left. You can see here we've got throttle there, we've got mixture there, we've got prop pitch there. We've got uh, obviously control there and rudder there. First thing we're going to do is taxi and it's very simple, a little bit of throttle forward and we're just going to use our rudder axis to turn. Now, what are the dangers when taxiing, Charles? I haven't made, managed to make any mistakes yet, but I'm presuming there always are in uh, propeller planes. Yeah, I mean, primarily the difficulties are, first of all, you can't see very well to your front. Yeah. And the other thing is, if you do slam on the brakes, you can obviously flip forward and strike your prop on the ground. Roger, so just easy on the brakes, especially if you've got them binary buttons. Okay, Charles, you take the lead, please. Okay, I'm just feathering the wheel brake. We are so small, this is great. Right, Star, so regards to takeoff, my understanding is we want neutral trim. We want to accelerate probably up to full power until 45 miles per hour, then a little stick forward to level her out. Then once she's leveled yep. out and about, is it 85 uh, miles per hour, we want a tiny bit of back stick to get able? Yeah, so basically, you at about 45, you start pushing the stick forward until your tail comes up. Mm -hmm. uh, then you set the stick back to neutral, and at about 80-ish, you just give it ever so slightly, ever so slight back stick to get up to the Roger. Any other concerns? Is she going to wiggle on the runway regarding rudder? Uh, only very slightly. She's going to try to be off to the left, but you're going to only need a very slight rudder to, to correct for that. Okay. When you're ready, please take off, and we'll use full power. Right, Sean, rolling. Stick forward, right rudder, wait, and a bit, bit of back stick. Oh, bit of a bounce, but we're okay. Right, once we've got some airspeed, Stahl, you can um, show her off and see what see what we can see what she can do. Oh, for example. <laughs> oh, he's going down. Oh no, he's not. <laughs> it's just a little bit hard to recover clean. Yeah, I'll just have to yeah. a minute. To actually, do not. Oh, the actual move is easy. Roger, let's go and do a loop when we've got a bit of altitude. She also has a beautiful hammerhead. Alright, Roger, I look forward to it. Now, this is by the way where the aerobatic indicator on the left comes in very handy. Roger, oh, I get that now. Oh, where are we going, Sharp? Oh, wiggly, wiggly, wiggly. Hammerhead. Oh, hammerhead, Roger. Oh, not much of a hammerhead for me, but okay. Well, I'm going to come back around and find you. You need to wait until you're almost stalled in a not quite 90 degree climb, I find. Roger. And then just uh, punch in the rudder all the way over. Oh, my kingdom to have some guns on this thing. <laughs> nice at mid-air cross. Woohoo! Oh, sugar. What about um, keeping throttle maximum? Is there a chance of burning out the engine? Uh, I haven't personally done it, but uh, theoretically, yes. So we're passing on the okay. left. Yep, tally. Whoa! Ha 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 We'll do some multi crew after this, Charlie, and you can take me up for a ride. I don't know how to do all that cool stuff. <laughs> right, um, for, for the time being, I'm going to link back up with you. If you can start working your way into a circuit, um, not on full throttle, just shy, please, so I can catch up. Sure. And yeah. uh, we'll go and show a landing. Right, I'm just going into an overhead brake right away. And I'm going to be at about four to 500 feet. Also aiming, currently decelerating, aiming for about 9200 uh, miles per hour. Be advised? I'm with you. Continue. With no flaps on this thing, am I correct? 
Uh, no, you wouldn't need any. Roger. I'm leveling out. Roger. I put a load of up trim in. I prefer it with some up trim at this point. Just how I prefer it. Yeah, a little bit would be helpful, but it's fine. I'm gonna turn a little right on downwind. So for the circuit, we want to stay at about 4,500 feet and about 9,200 knots. Roger. We're about to pass threshold on a, on a 9 o'clock. As soon as that is on a 9 o'clock, I will cut back on the throttle and put us into a base lift. Okay. Uh, that is a descent rate of about uh, 500 feet per second uh, per minute. So I'm turning now. One thing you want to be careful about while you're doing this is you do not want your speed to drop below about 80. Finals. In threshold, you want the speed to be about 80 to 85. Are you right or left? Right. Not sure what's the clock. Lando with some nose up, presumably. So I'm on threshold, I cut back throttle all the way, and just let her glide in and land her three point back in Wolbert. Whee! Perfect. Once you land, be careful with the brakes, uh, do not manhandle them, just carefully tap them until you're down to, to about walking speed. Hey, not bad, not bad at all. Happy with that start. All in all, um, first impressions, really easy, really good fun. I could do that all day, I think. Happy with that. Okay, so the next thing to do is for us to jump in the same plane and we're going to do some multi-crew. Other than that, hope you enjoyed that and we'll see you later.